Hey everyone, hope everyone's happy, healthy, and well. Uh, we're going to do a reading out of this bowl today with a bunch of magazine clippings and words that I've written down. Um, and let's see what we get. Okay. We have a little bunny rabbit and a hedgehog. Um, the little hedgie's so cute. <laughs> Um, are these children's books? I'm not sure, but you might have young children at home. Um, you, I'm getting like, you just really love to like read stories together and kind of like, um, role play back and forth, uh, different characters out of their favorite books. And it's just a really good bonding time for you all. Let's see, we have the Backyard Bird Watchers Bible, so you might be a bird watcher, you might really love birds or have birds um, in your home, um, or in like an atrium area, and yeah, you might want to check out this book. The printing is so small, I don't see... I don't see a author on here, but it's called the Backyard Bird Watchers Bible. Um, you might want to check that book out. It could be very interesting. Um, we have Mexico. You might have, uh, recently gone on a trip to Mexico or you're going to Mexico. I've never been there, but I would love to go there. Um, we have hiking. So you might be, um, going to be adventuring and hiking, uh, out in the world and exploring new places that you've never been before. And we have the word spaghetti. So you might really love spaghetti or recently have had spaghetti. Um, you may also be like learning how to make pasta, like hand, hand, homemade pasta. Th that sounds really fun. I'm gonna grab a couple more here. Cause it was kinda, I feel like we need a little bit more. Gosh, this one loves to come out. Um, these like little balloon wind ornaments um they have little dragonflies and hummingbirds on it so um you know a passed on ancestor might be saying hi uh, if they loved hummingbirds or dragonflies um know that they're safe and you know you can communicate with them at any time um they're always there uh listening to your thoughts and observing your life and you know you can always talk to them uh, whether out loud or just in your mind you know and they will start to respond with certain signs um, like dragonflies or hummingbirds um, and you can ask the spirits to send you signs um, if they're thinking about you or if you're on the right track in life uh, and it's really cool to see, uh, what the spirits come up with, <laughs> and you as well, you know, it's a, t it's a teammate, it's a team bonding, uh, and, you know, it's putting your trust in the universe and in the spirit realm, uh, that they're able to send you signs, um, that are really true and, you know, you're, you're really getting signs. It's not just a fluke kind of thing. It's, um, you know, you can also, uh, ask for like feathers or pennies or maybe even like a half dollar or something. I got a half dollar the other day and I thought it was su super cool. <laughs> so like certain, you know, cause it's not as, um, it's not as used as a penny, but pennies are also great cause they're easy to, uh, have people drop around and you know the spirits love to communicate they really do it's awesome so try it out <laughs> um okay this says saying example and i'm getting to like give an example like my grandmother uh really loves hummingbirds um my dad's sign is a red cardinal and so, like, I have this towel with a red cardinal on it, 
and I always think about him kind of when I am passing by, getting ready for the day. He's there, you know, watching over. So, yeah. Okay, and we also have Tree Spotter's Guide, or it's also, it's called Tree Spotter's Companion. So you must really love the outdoors. <laughs> you must really love the outdoors. And I'm getting photography as well. Uh, you love photographing nature, landscapes, um, like the different changing of the seasons, um, especially like the leaves. You love the color of like the different uh, leaves changing color um, in the fall. I'm, this is like... Hold on, they want me to say something else. Yes, spirit. Oh, I'm getting like you also might love to photograph um, like families in 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 nature. You might do uh, you know headshots and for like important companies. Um, yeah, and I'm getting like you also, but you really love to do like families and. I'm getting even, um, like, senior portraits outdoors and really incorporating nature and the surrounding landscapes into your photos. Okay, and this is like a... It's, a, it's actually a little tiny box. It's so hard to see. But it's like a bunch of presents stacked on top of each other. So it might have recently been your birthday or your birthday's coming up. And this little box makes me think of my grandma because she collected little boxes. So, um, it could be your grandmother's birthday. You might really miss your grandmother. Um, uh, my grandmother's birthday was, uh, recently in February. So, I miss my grandma a lot. So, I totally understand, y'all. And, you know... I'm getting also that, like, you might want to do, like, a piece of art in honor of your passed on loved ones. Um, and they'll kind of, like, channel through you in the process. Um, I did an art night just recently, like, a few hours ago, and, um, it was watercolor painting, and we kind of just were able to do whatever we wanted, and, you know, um... It was just like, uh, it was freeing. It was like, got my mind off things, and I created a couple pieces of art, and, um, it, it, it was awesome. So, yeah, you might want to do some art. <laughs> It'll feel good. <laughs> um, and, oh yeah, this, um, says uh, this is a tiny ceramic studio little kit um i think it's for kids but um oh it also has like little paints and stuff on there that's really cool so you might do ceramics or you might want to start uh doing a ceramic class um i've been looking into jewelry classes and ceramics uh and glass blowing classes but they're just, they're, they're pretty expensive. I don't know where, if it's like that everywhere. Um, but if you know somebody that, uh, you know, has a kiln, that's awesome. And maybe you could just, like, rent some time on it or something. Um, but yeah, check out the classes in your area. And maybe they have stuff at, like, a college or... Um, a college class, you know, uh, might be of interest. So check around your area on the internet and see what's available. Um, this is call your mom. <laughs> so you may want to call your mom. And if your mom is um, not here, you know, like I said earlier, they're always there in the spirit. And it's okay to talk to them. I talked to my dad you know, in the spirit world, and they're not here, but they hear what we're thinking, what we're feeling, they, they understand, they, they feel what we're feeling, you know, and, um, maybe even, like, journal down, like, letters to your mom, or if, you know, uh, it might be, 
good to maybe even like write a poem or something of that sort um, in honor of your mom or do a painting any sort of art would be awesome um, so that's it that was awesome reading I hope you all enjoyed it if you did please like share and subscribe I appreciate it all of you um, and I'll see you in another video bye